Hey guys and welcome to a new video on Biter Geek. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a slightly different video to the last couple of ones I've gone and done which have been uh, unboxing and review videos. So um, let's get to it. So I recently went through the process of trying to work out what CPU to uh, upgrade from. I uh, at that time had uh, an Intel i7 4790K uh, which was overclocked and that was overclocked to 4.7 gigahertz and uh, you know for me I'd had that CPU for a number of years probably a good five years something like that uh, cost an arm and a leg to buy it when it was new and I, you know I had a good motherboard had an Asus motherboard and um, you know it was a it was a really solid CPU and it was only really in the last few months that I decided to overclock the CPU to, to the 4.7 gigahertz uh, mainly because you know as I was doing more and more productivity related things it was just uh, you know the the lack of the additional uh, cores on the CPU meant that you know I was starting to, to push up that um, that base uh, clock speed I guess or the, the, the turbo clock speed I should say and um, Obviously, you know, with editing YouTube videos, my shift has gone from, from gaming over the years to more of the productivity related side of things. Still do like to do some gaming. Um, you know, it's, it's not, uh, not something that, you know, I've completely switched away from. But, uh, you know, my, my focus had shifted and I needed to look at a, a slightly different uh, overall package. You know, the system was probably ready for an upgrade. And so I've started down that path over the last couple of months. Um, you know, AMD was looking very attractive from a pricing point um, you know, for, for the CPUs that they had on offer. Uh, but I was conscious of the fact that, you know, they, they had new chipset platform, the B550 coming out and obviously the new uh, Ryzen uh, processors coming out, which hopefully will be out sometime next year. So, you know, I didn't really want to wait until next year for this. Like anybody who's into technology, you, you kind of want the, the latest and greatest all the time. I've had Intel CPUs for many, many years, you know, 10, 15 years, something like that. I've, I've dabbled in AMD in the past, um, you know, a long, long time ago and, you know, only had issues with them at that point in time. And that very much pushed me to uh, to Intel for a long long time but Intel's pricing uh, for for the CPUs that they're offering at the moment is, is just a little bit uh, high for in my opinion I think you know they need to be more competitive because their CPUs aren't necessarily in terms of performance uh, that overall competitive um, and you know AMD quite frankly are, are you know almost wiping the floor with them at the moment um, so, you know, I, I started down this path and I decided, you know, I, I wasn't going to go for the B450 platform, I wanted to go for the B550 platform, uh, but it was a choice over the CPU really. Should I go for the 3600, should I go for the 3600X, um, you know, or should I step up and get something like a 3700 or a you know, 3800 or what, one of those ones. And you know the 3600s. I you know I did a video on those uh, not so long ago. Absolutely, you know, superb CPU if you're looking for something for a, for a, kind of like a budget gaming PC. Uh, very very strong CPU for the for the price that they uh, retail for. Um, and the the 3700X was the one that I really started looking more into. Um, and you know in terms of its price it was probably at the price point that I paid originally for my i7 a number of years ago so it's definitely you know an equivalent pricing point of what I, I previously paid um, but I started looking on uh, threads you know I'm sure you guys have all done the same kind of thing you know been on reddit uh, you know, Linus uh, tech tips forums all that kind of stuff and, and trying to get people's uh, gauge people's feedback on uh, whether you should upgrade from a 4790 to something like an, uh, an AMD CPU, uh, one of the newer ones, and whether the benefit is there. Uh, and, and obviously, you know, a lot of people have said, 
you know productivity absolutely you know there is there is a huge benefit uh, on that and you know if that's what your focus is video editing um, you know desktop applications and stuff like that then absolutely you know it's, it's a bit of a no-brainer but the gaming side of things was a, a little bit swung either way really uh, some people said uh, yes some people said you know there's still plenty of life left in the i7 uh, CPU and it probably wasn't worth it you, you know you hold on hold out for that next generation of AMD CPUs uh, so I what I've decided to do is I've just decided to, to show you guys it's only a couple of benchmarks uh, you know this isn't going to be some kind of 20 minute video on uh, all the different tests that I've gone and run um, but you know I've done uh, Cinebench R20 and I've done a Tomb Raider uh, stress test as well uh, or performance test I should say and uh, you know I'll put that out there at the moment the graphics card in the system is, is the next item to be upgraded uh, again you know I'm sure you can imagine the level that it's at um, given that uh, you know I was still running an i7 4790 up until about a month or so ago uh, but that that GPU is a MSI Radeon R9 2700X uh, I think it is it's the um, four gigabyte version so it's uh, you know it's it's kept up fairly well with the AAA games uh, albeit you know maxed at, at 1080p I suppose uh, but you know it's it's done really well as I said earlier in the video you know my shift has moved away a little bit on, on gaming uh, moved away from kind of like the first person shooters onto onto different uh, genres of games um, so but that is definitely going to be a card that I'm going to uh, look to upgrade to uh, in the in the coming months and it'll probably be one of the new Nvidia uh, cards unless AMD pulls something out the bag so I'm going to show you some slides in a minute guys uh, there's only a couple of them uh, as I say but you know it's you know no real surprise but a little bit of a surprise in that given that I've, I've maintained the graphics card in uh, both of the systems uh, and uh, hopefully it'll uh, you know kind of answer a little bit as to whether it's it's worth pushing yourself to a newer CPU from the from the 4790 okay so let's just roll the slides and uh, you guys can see uh, what the benchmarks came out as There you go guys they're the two comparisons that i did fairly straightforward and basic uh, but hopefully you know it emphasizes the point um the cinebench r20 uh, stats yeah I, I no surprise there i'd have been absolutely stunned if uh, if it hadn't been double the performance of the uh, i7 processor and uh, as, it, as it is it's it's double plus a little bit more as well so you know that's really good news so if you if you definitely you know, from a productivity perspective, uh, upgrading that CPU, even though it was overclocked to 4.7 gigahertz when that test was run, it's definitely worth upgrading to one of the new CPUs uh, to, to get that advantage. And the Tomb Raider benchmark, a little bit of a surprise there. Uh, obviously the graphics card is is the, the limiting factor on, uh, on that game. The, the benchmark was only run at 1080p, so you know it, it handles it very well but it is a, a very low uh, frames per second score that the, the game itself gets uh, with the graphics card so there's there's quite a bit of a push there on the, on the cpu and uh, the, the game is quite cpu intensive anyway uh, but that's you know that that is a good uh, difference in in the performance of the cpus there i think you know depending upon what kinds of games you're playing uh, you know on, on your system you know the, it is definitely worth considering that jump from a 4790 up to one of the one of the newer uh, range of CPUs um, you know not everybody probably wants to move to something like a 3700 X or even you know 3800 or 3900 probably don't don't have the money to do that um, but you know the the 3600 and the 3600 X uh, that's a good solid CPU okay it doesn't have all the additional cores 
uh, that the 37 has, but it does have two extra cores on on the chip, and and that will you know that will help as well overall uh, in in your system, and that that is you know quite a reasonably budget price system. So a final point, guys, you know if you, definitely if you're on the edge here deciding whether to upgrade your system or not, um, I'll just I'll just put this out there. You know I resold my motherboard and uh, RAM and and CPU and the the total value that i got back for that was was very very close to the retail price that i paid for the uh, 3700x so the the kit that you've got at the moment which you, you might be deciding whether to do a, an upgrade or not you know it's got value in it it is worth upgrading to uh to one of the one of the new cpus there will be that point where there will be no value in in what you've got uh, at the moment and uh, you know those prices will will plummet and the, the cost of upgrading your system will be substantially more and that was the way that I looked at this you know is is it at the a kind of like a sweet spot at the moment you know, when you, you look at the 4790k you know it, it's an old socket now uh, you know new motherboards moved on so much more lots more benefits on the motherboards uh, even simple things like USB see you, know, you, you just don't aren't getting those on, on any of the old motherboards uh, you know multiple m.2 slots uh, you know lots more USB ports on the motherboard and stuff like that so uh, hopefully guys that gives you a bit of an idea of some of the things that you know I considered when I was looking at upgrading my system uh, I you know I don't upgrade my system every 12 months uh, those days have long gone um, but you know, I, I do look to try and get a little bit of uh, longevity out of the, the system, and try and get something back for the old system. Um, really, you know, rather than throwing it in the trash. Okay, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Hopefully, a couple of points there for uh, discussion in the comments. Uh, leave them down below, and I'll try and answer them, uh, you know, as best as I can. But you know, if you enjoyed the video, if you found it useful, then please consider you know hitting that like button and subscribing to the channel. It all does help. And I'll um, I'll see you in the next video. So thanks for watching. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.